Hello welcome back to my channel. I took some time off but I'm back now so let's see what's new in Megan Lee's life. Spoiler alert and unfortunately for Caden and little Leighton Lee, nothing. Hey guys, welcome back. Megan Lee was asked how she is doing. She responded by saying, truthfully, I'm just okay I have great days and I have bad days my personal life is not the best right now but I'm praying for change and trusting God. Also getting really sick and tired of this cold weather because it's nearly may and i don't understand why we're having lows of 30 degree weather and our days are like in the low 50s and high 40s it sucks um i want to be able to like be outside and enjoy but i'm also really nervous about the summer because i feel like i'm gonna want the heat and when summer comes around and i am huge and uncomfortably pregnant i feel like i'm gonna regret saying that i wanted the heat ew she, she should just burp you have a really bad bed head dude i recently got this light fixture up here why are you screaming why are you screaming um, just basic onesies. Kaden, can you not? Next, Megan was asked what she wishes she could change about her life right now. She responded with finances, marriage resolutions, and a cure for anxiety lol. Megan has complained about money for so long, so let's see if she's changed her spending. Also notable that she has spent a good amount of time and energy defending her marriage. We ended up getting the R-Line package, so it has like the black accents to it and the R line has like all of this normally it would just be there would be no grill or anything like no black accents so since this is the R line um the wheel is a little bit different there's some black accents we do have the carbon fiber here which the other trim has like the wood grain which i actually like better i'm not a huge fan of this but i can always like upgrade it i can always like upgrade it so i just got the new cricut explorer Three, which I'm so excited about. My sister-in-law has had a cricket forever. I'm so glad to see that along with constant hair appointments and a full set of claws, Megan can afford to keep up with her eyelash extensions. Priorities. Am I right, girls? This will be my first time getting Botox. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? Don't mind the packages in the back. I got my stuff from the Nordstrom sale. Now this is my birthday present to myself. I kind of came a little far. Like I really want to get something out of this trip. So another thing that I was interested in was a lip flip. And that is what I ended up getting. It's basically becomes addicting. It's what I've heard. So, um, and it is expensive. So we will see how I like it. Um, I basically just want to put some positivity out there and let you guys know that you are not alone. If you are struggling with self-image, if you are struggling with self-confidence, I am there with you because I get it. I do think a lot of these idols that we so call you know, Instagram models or whatever, just not real in my eyes. And I basically just want to put some positivity out there. This eyebrow is always much higher than this eyebrow. My eyebrows are like uneven. This eye and this eyebrow just droop. They're very droopy on one side. And I don't like my top lip. I just don't like that. Like my top lip kind of like points down. I'm just like getting older. Like my, my skin has changed so much after having Kaden. I'm noticing more wrinkles. Keep noticing more and more wrinkles. I'm really still like self-conscious about is my chest. It sucks. Like I've already kind of thought about getting them done after I have kids. Thought about getting them done like before my next pregnancy. Anyone coming at me saying stuff about like plastic surgery to each their own. On Instagram and things like that, you know, in my personal opinion, I think that a lot of it's fake. I think a lot of it's plastic surgery and I think that, um, um, I support anyone that wants to alter their body to make them more confident. Um, 
Oh boy. The moving questions again. Megan was asked on Instagram if she's moving soon and she answered with the short response. Unfortunately no. Meg has made multiple videos where she discusses moving. Some with clickbait titles and some where the entire video is based on the topic. In a lot of these videos she complains heavily about not being able to move because she and her husband cannot afford to purchase a home or even move to another rental with enough space for them and their children. It's hard to tell if she even wants to move because if she did, why isn't she trying to save money or make more by putting out content? It seems like the more she complains about needing money, the less she works. What do you think? Does she only do YouTube because she doesn't have anyone else to complain to? So I feel like a goal of ours is to move out of here and try to get a house before we try, or at least like before we have another baby, because one, we need more space and two, I just, I don't, I don't want to have another baby here. And of course, Meg got asked what she would tell her younger self and she says that she would tell herself to not rush her life, which is probably the thing that she has defended doing the most in her time on YouTube. We decided to move our wedding date to not two years away, but one year away. Actually, like less than a year, um, which we're really excited about, which we're really excited about. Um, I, I just felt like I wasn't happy. I definitely want to have another baby though when we move out of this house. Like, I don't know when that's going to be. So I wanted to share our plans of how we're going to make this work in this house with a new baby. Um. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? Getting older, getting married, and becoming a mom do not seem to have had much of an impact on Megan Lee's mindset and motivation. It's very sad to see actually, especially for those of us who have watched her for a long time. She is not happy, and it seems that she's hoping to find it in the next unit of Botox. Let me know what you guys think though. Is there any salvaging her channel? Let me know in the comments below. Oh.